A young girl walking home from school found a small pile of Polaroid photos lying in the gutter. And there were 20 in all, neatly wrapped with a rubber band. She picked them up, and as she walked, she started to browse. The first photo was that of a ghostly white man on a black backdrop, standing just far enough away from the camera that she couldn't make out his features. The girl slid the photo to the back of the stack and looked at the next one. The photo was of the same man, now standing a bit closer. The girl flipped through the next several photos quickly. With each one, the man in the picture came a bit closer, and his features were a bit clearer. Turning the last corner to her house, the girl noticed that the man in the photo seemed to be looking at her. Even when she moved the stack from side to side, it frightened her, but she kept flipping them over, one by one. By the 19th picture, the man was so close his face completely filled the frame. His expression was the most horrifying thing the girl had ever seen. Walking up to the driveway, she turned to the last photo. This time, instead of an image, there were two words. Close enough. Hearing a scream from outside the house, the girl's brother rushed out the door and opened it. All he saw was a pile of photos lying on the doorstep. The top one looked like an extremely pale version of his sister, but she was standing too far back for him to be sure. If this video entranced you enough to watch to the end, either through fear, entertainment, or confusion, please consider hitting the like button, or better yet, view one of the narrations both spoken and written by me. Those are the ones with the vignetted decaying images and the thumbnails. And if you are just as entranced by one of them, please consider hitting the subscribe button or sharing with like-minded people.